Hmm. All right, I'm going to update my video comparing QuickBooks and Freshbooks. It will be a lot shorter than the video I did one year ago in 2022. That video was over 25 minutes long and it's still worth watching if you're seriously doing research and want a lot of visuals of the two softwares. The link to that video is below. And in that previous video, I advise you to compare bookkeeping software on eight different categories. Price, reports, integrations, tech support, time tracking, payroll options, payments and invoicing, and then accountant support. Yuvu, I'm an accounting professional who provides support for FreshBooks users. So those categories give you a really great framework to make your own comparison on any bookkeeping software. But like I said, I wanted to create a 2023 update because, well, there have been some changes in both softwares and I know a lot more about them. But here's how we're gonna do this. We are gonna look at what the integration app Zapier says because they wrote up a side-by-side -side comparison in early 2023 as well. And since I know both FreshBooks and QuickBooks very well, I read it with a skeptical eye because I thought it was just a piece of content marketing written by a copywriter who doesn't know the ins and outs of both softwares. Um, and I was mostly surprised at how accurate it was considering I could tell it was written by someone who didn't have extensive experience with these two softwares. I give the article about a solid B minus in terms of accuracy. So let's take a closer look comparing FreshBooks versus QuickBooks Online according to Zapier with commentary by Kate and I'll turn this comparison into an A-plus grade. All right, let's dive in. All right, so here's the article, and the part that I like best, let me just scroll down and zoom in, and I'm just gonna read it. Listen carefully, y'all, listen up. FreshBooks versus QuickBooks at a glance. FreshBooks and QuickBooks, while both powerful and user-friendly, each have unique strengths that make them a good fit for different audiences. FreshBooks is best for freelancers, solopreneurs, and small businesses that offer services, that don't intend to grow much. It offers time tracking, unlimited invoicing, basic project management, and basic reporting at a low price. QuickBooks is best for medium to large businesses and businesses that have plans to grow. It offers more comprehensive accounting and reporting features than FreshBooks, while also providing unique inventory management for those with physical products, as well as automation opportunities. Now this description is extremely high level, but I would challenge anyone to write a more accurate high level comparison. If you stopped right here, and this was the only comparison info you had, which software fits your dreams for your new business? So just take a moment to rank these softwares right now in terms of the business that you're wanting to build. But the comparison doesn't stop there, so let's keep going. All right, price. So it's no secret that FreshBooks is cheaper than QuickBooks Online. So I guess the star rankings are right if you are just looking at the exact value, dollar value of the prices, but that's missing the forest for the trees. You need to discern if they are priced appropriately for the value that they bring your business. The thing I want to point out here is this little word advanced for $200 right here. So not only is QBO built for larger businesses than FreshBooks is built for, QBO is putting most of its software development dollars into these features for the advanced plan. They are unashamedly moving up market to mid-market companies who need enterprise level accounting features. So if you're building a lifestyle business or a business with simple accounting needs, QBO is not focused on innovating for businesses like yours. But if you are a business with multiple locations, brick and mortar operations, maybe multiple currencies, manufacturing or construction or e-commerce, and if you are on track to have a ton of employees, then you will feel very cared for and loved by the QuickBooks Online software engineers. So that's price. Continuing down, now they're talking about accountant access. Okay, at the time of this recording, this is just wrong for the FreshBooks column. Right here on the left, it says you can only invite one accountant after upgrading to the plus, plus plan. Um, you can invite actually unlimited numbers, so I don't know why they say that. You do have to have the plus plan to invite an accountant though, but you can invite as many as you want. Um, and you can only invite two, two QuickBooks online. So this is wrong. All right, we're going to scroll down to user friendliness. Zapier rates FreshBooks five stars and QBO four stars on user friendliness. I mean, I guess I'm a little skeptical, but I think all accounting softwares have a pretty steep learning curve to use them properly. So it's not like if you pick FreshBooks for the five stars that you're guaranteed to do your bookkeeping correctly. So even though I don't give any accounting software five stars for user friendliness, I do rank FreshBooks higher. And the reason why is really summed up by this comment about QBO having a larger number of features. It says right here, large number of options poses a slight learning curve to those less familiar with accounting. 
Remember, the fundamental computer coding that undergirds all subscription levels of QBO is that enormous multi-million dollar operations can be run on QBO. So FreshBooks has just less things that you can do wrong. So it will feel a lot more user-friendly because you have some guardrails. So I agree with the relative ranking of FreshBooks getting one more star than QBO for this category, but I don't agree with the absolute ranking. I'd at least take them both down one star. All right, let's move down here to time tracking. So I have to give Zapier a bit of a knock on the analysis for presenting a little bit of a misleading picture here, since it mentions a price for QBO, but it doesn't include a dollar figure for time tracking for FreshBooks. Yes, you have to pay a flat monthly fee of $20 to use the add-on app called QuickBooks Time, and then you're also going to pay $8 per user. I wish they had put that $8 per user in here as well. With FreshBooks, the owner of the account does get time tracking for free, for one person, for yourself, but you do have to pay $10 for each additional user you want to track time inside your FreshBooks company's file because each additional user account costs $10. One thing I will point out where FreshBooks is really solid on time tracking is that it is definitely natively built into FreshBooks and it's not an external app that you have to turn on like QuickBooks Time. So I want you to really grasp that time tracking and pushing time to invoices and tracking time to your specific projects and clients is a fundamental feature of FreshBooks. Hey, can I jump in here and let y'all know that if you need the best deal on FreshBooks or on QuickBooks Online, then I have referral links for both products. I am rabid about disclosing referral links because I see all the shady stuff out there and know how people get paid by convincing you to buy things you don't really need. I want to be the exact opposite of that. But if this video gives you the information you need to make your own decision and you would like to say thanks, then you can use one of my links and if you end up picking FreshBooks, make sure you subscribe to this channel for sure. If you end up picking QBO, stick around, because uh, further in this video, I'm going to tell you how to get great accountant support for both products, QuickBooks and FreshBooks, and how you can find a QBO expert to follow. All right, on to automation. So this is a Zapier article. So of course, the only they only mentioned Zapier. Uh, marketing team has got a market, right? Um, don't hate the player, hate the game. Yes, QBO has a lot more ways to integrate. They get more stars than FreshBooks. But I will point out that QBO is a premium Zapier connection that costs you the dollar bills, and FreshBooks is a free Zapier integration. But y'all, Zapier is only one of hundreds of integrations. To really compare the integrations you need, you're going to go to the app stores for both softwares. Here is the FreshBooks app store. <laughs> And here is the QuickBooks Online App Store. Both of these have countless apps that integrate with them that you can find here. I'll include the direct links to both of these app stores below in the description for you to compare and search for what connects that you're gonna need. Now, one last thing to note is that when you are reading the descriptions of the apps in either of these app stores, neither of these platforms are gonna be telling you the entire story. These descriptions are marketing to get you to buy, right? You have to treat every integration with a grain of salt. Usually they work correctly only if you're using it exactly as it was built. So for integrations, I recommend that business owners hire a certified expert to do a double check that you did it correctly or to have them set it up for you. There are a lot of trainers like myself in both softwares who'd be able to advise on integration setup and troubleshooting that are going to allow you to trust that you integrated correctly. All right, moving on to reporting. So FreshBooks gets three stars and QBO gets five. I'll say Zapier got this correct. At least in terms of the potential reports that both of these softwares have the ability to produce. So for QBO, if you use it correctly, which is a big if, but there's probably no report of data that you can imagine in your brain that QBO couldn't generate for you. Conversely, the limitations to FreshBooks reports do make me sad sometimes. For example, I would love to just even have an easy all dates filter in the FreshBooks reports, and it doesn't have one. So you have to take like 10 extra seconds to pick your date range manually to get reports for all dates. And I would love a more robust side-by-side -side time comparison reporting features in FreshBooks. Comparison options are limited. I wish it had more features for me to save reports that I've customized. But for this category, for reports, y'all, I want you to think about how often you're going to be running reports. Be honest, probably not that often. So yes, you can do backflips inside of QuickBooks Online with all the comparisons and filters and save settings inside QBO reports, but I'm pretty sure that the average small business owner who is doing their own bookkeeping isn't even going to be able to scratch the surface of the report features that are available. It's just too vast and customizable for you to even know what you don't know. So yes, QBO wins this category, no contest, 
But if you aren't hiring someone, either internally or externally to do all your accounting, bookkeeping, and CFO type tasks, you probably aren't going to really feel how big of a difference there is. Okay, Mr. Zapier, content creator, I've got to throw some shade here. We're on the inventory management category, and this is where you really bring down the grade point average. FreshBooks does not get four stars for inventory management. FreshBooks needs to have like one star or zero stars for inventory management. First of all, no small business with inventory should be using FreshBooks for their general ledger. There's one tiny spot in the item section of FreshBooks where you can technically put an opening quantity of inventory, and you can even come in and adjust it after you buy more inventory, but it's a pretty useless feature. Perhaps it will be improved to have real inventory capabilities later, but part of me secretly hopes that it doesn't, because that would mean that FreshBooks is expanding too far away from their ideal customer that we discussed in the very beginning of this video. FreshBooks is best suited for freelancers, solopreneurs, and small businesses that offer services, not that sell things. So now we're on the mileage tracking. Well, this is just wrong. Uh, FreshBooks does have mileage tracking on its mobile app. I have a full tutorial about mileage tracking in FreshBooks and some special ways to use it. And the computer engineers have even made some improvements since I made that old video, if you go watch that old video. A couple of comments though. I don't know anyone who drives a lot for their business who uses either FreshBooks or the QBO mileage app. If you are a road warrior, like a realtor or piano tuner, or maybe like a veterinarian who does house calls, you're gonna want a separate mileage app that is built just for that. The mileage tracking that comes with these two softwares is good, but it's not as perfect as the apps that are pros at it. All right, we're on the last little bucket here, bank reconciliation. Look, yes, they both have bank reconciliation. I'm not sure why the number of stars is different here, but I give the author a big old virtual hug for even including this on the list. I'm guessing he has other comparison articles about, you know, bookkeeping softwares that don't have a way to reconcile bank and credit card accounts. Uh, but look, I can guarantee you that it, you do not take time to learn bank reconciliation feature of your chosen bookkeeping software, then there is a 100% chance that your books are wrong. In both softwares, doing bank rec properly is going to take you some time to learn. And when you look at your profit and loss reports and you see that your credit card payments are listed as business expenses, they're not. Or that your owner's draws are listed as business expenses, they're not. It is likely because you don't have a good grasp of the concept of how bank reconciliation works and you're just matching transactions inside your books to the transactions in your bank and that is not how it works. All right, you've listened this far, so you are someone who is clearly doing their homework and doesn't mind my opinions. So I'm going to add two more comparisons that I think are very important as you are choosing between these two softwares. And they're both related to comparing the ways that these softwares offer you help with your accounting needs. All right, both of these softwares have directories of independent experts in their softwares. As a bookkeeping pro, I'm really grateful that they have these directories because I believe business owners do need our help. So you can look below in the description for the links to the directories of both softwares. And I think you should consider a couple of different people until you find the person that you like because you're gonna to have to work very closely with that person. But my advice on how to pick someone is to make sure that you know that someone has the technical skills to help you do all the accounting stuff, but also make sure that person is good at communicating. Accounting topics are often very complex and you're going to want someone who can tell you the why behind some of the things that they do for you or tell you to do. And then the next thing that's sort of related to getting help is that both of these softwares are going to immediately market to you to use their recommended team of their own bookkeepers. QuickBooks has a service called QuickBooks Live where they are actual employees of that company. Um, there's probably thousands of them by now and they're on teams that do bookkeeping. Think of them as like a direct competitor to me. QuickBooks just has its own enormous bookkeeping firm. But the reason I'm telling you about this is because if you have any level of complexity to your business, I think you should at least interview some other independent certified pro advisors who have some expertise in your unique needs and compare what they offer to what QuickBooks Live offers. QuickBooks Live is not a bad fit for a lot of businesses, but I'm concerned that because Intuit will immediately start marketing to you that you might not even know that there are other independent experts out there. So check that directory. Now, when it comes to FreshBooks, they don't have their own employees who do bookkeeping, but they have some relationship with a company called Benj. And FreshBooks salesmen are going to start immediately to suggest to you that Benj help you do your books. There's obviously some sort of financial relationship, but I don't know what it is. 
But here's the reason why I don't recommend the FreshBooks plus Bench combo, when I do think that QuickBooks Software plus QuickBooks Live might be a good solution. And it is because that Bench is a completely separate general ledger. They're not going to do your bookkeeping on your FreshBooks file. They're going to do it on their own software. They say this in their FAQs, y'all. So if you sign up for Bench, you're immediately conceding that you only want FreshBooks to be an invoicing tool, maybe a proposal and an invoicing tool. And I just think that if you really want to use Bench, you can just use Bench without using FreshBooks. So go ahead and research Bench, see if they are a good fit for you. I think they do your taxes too, if you want, uh, but you don't have to use FreshBooks to use Bench. And honestly, there are probably better and cheaper ways to just send invoices and get paid. Something like a Dubsado, for instance, that allows you to send invoices and get paid. What That could also be like a full CRM tool and allow you to have things like calendar integrations and just so much more than just using FreshBooks for invoicing. And Binge can still be your bookkeeper, but you have a whole lot better business management system instead of just using FreshBooks for invoices and payments. Y'all, one last reminder is that if you appreciated this video, you can use my referral links for either QuickBooks or FreshBooks. I'd sure appreciate it. And if you end up selecting FreshBooks, the number one best thing you can do is watch my video entitled Free FreshBooks Resources, where in three minutes, I'm going to give you a handful of things that are going to save you so much time. I'm Kate Josephine Johnson, and I help business owners build their business legacy.